Hi guys, Andre from Conveyor of Randomness here, and today I'll be asking what it's like getting a cheap camera slider like this. This is a manual carbon fiber camera track slider. You can't get this exact one anymore, but if you scroll through the listings on Amazon, you'll see a mixture of manual sliders like this, available at a variety of prices. And motorized sliders, which are available at a mixture of mid to premium prices. But what is actually the benefit of getting a manual slider like this one? Sliders like this will help you achieve smooth manual panning movements across your subject to help you improve your photography and videography creative skills. As you can see from this slider, it has a 16 inch carbon fiber track, which provides a double rail system for the camera fixing plate via the four attached bearings to sit, allowing it to glide across the rails smoothly, giving you the movement that is both precise and quiet. You can increase or decrease the resistance of the plate across the track by turning the red knob in the appropriate direction. This will create drag and even fix the plate in place, particularly useful if the slider is positioned in a non-horizontal orientation. I prefer to have it on the least amount of resistance to prevent the drag when I'm moving it across the track. The camera plate itself centrally features the quarter inch screw fitting that is compatible with most cameras and can be tightened without the often inconvenient action of twisting the camera on the plate but by using the locking knob on the underside of the plate. What differentiates this slider plate from others that you may see is that the plate also features multiple slots and adapters for additional accessories or cameras that won't accommodate the quarter inch fitting. There are two further quarter inch adapters, two 3 8 inch adapters, three cold shoe adapters, and a level to ensure consistency if you want those flat shots on uneven surfaces. So there's lots of variety with the possibility of adding a whole host of different accessories like lights, bore heads, mobile phone mounts to suit your needs for the shot. Below the track and positioned in a way that doesn't affect the movement of the camera plate across the track is another plate that is used for mounting the slider to a tripod. I do like the idea of using the slider on a tripod but what is noticeable when panning the camera across the track from left to right and vice versa that due to the weight shift on the slider you do notice that it doesn't always pan level from one side to the other. At both ends of the slider there are two foldable and fully adjustable anti-slip legs which allow the track of the slider to remain sturdy, stable and stationary on your surface. And even when on uneven surfaces their height and angle adjustments can help you position the slider to achieve that smooth panning angle and also allow the slight tilt adjustment to the slider if you want your shot looking at a slight downward angle towards your subject. In addition to the adjustable legs, there are screw holes that allow you to have the slider in even more positions if you want those more vertical shots. Using the slider with its ease of use means that I can smoothly pan across my subject with ease and do so at different angles. Let's go and see a few examples of panning shots and my setups with the slider. So that's the manual camera slider, still a very valuable tool to own, even if you already have other stablers like steady rigs or gimbals. Alongside those other accessories, sliders are easy to set up, can potentially give you professional looking shots that are easy to edit in post and extremely portable. This one even comes with a carry case, but its design means that once it's folded up, you can just easily be put in the side pocket of your bag. Don't let this lightweight portable slider 16 inch track put you off in terms of the amount of actual panning that you can do. The panning on those close up shots will definitely benefit for the most, but don't take anything away from those long shots. The most minimal amount of movement can still add loads of value compared to a static shot. Just think of a slider in this way. Although it may be small in size, and in this case, low cost in value, a slider can completely change the way you take your shots and add that finishing touch if you want to take your creative skills to the next level. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. That's all for me today. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Why don't you go and watch one of the two videos below, or both if you want, click before the time runs out. Three, two, one. Go.